The 26 players on Team Canada's roster have scored a combined 5,189 goals. They have scored more than 14,000 career points. They've won 32 Stanley Cups. They've won 17 Canada Cups. And now here's Primo taking it away from Gonchar. Primo for me, and a big save right off the bat is made by Andre Truffalov. Andre Nikolishin for hooking Eric Lindros. And Nikolishin loses his stick, as you rightly called here, Gordon. Then he just grabs on to Lindros. Stick arm and all right here. You can see the grab, and that's why he'll go off for holding. Face off in the Russian zone. Now Lindros out there with Wayne Gretzky and Theron Fleury. Paul Coffey and Steve Eiserman back on the point. But the draw is won by Alexei Yashin out there killing the penalty. And Lindros hammered Shetnik in the corner. Here's Scott Niedermeyer ahead for Trevor Linden. Linden takes a bump and then gets dropped. Darius Kasparaitis took him out low. And this is Kasparaitis. He took a shot from Linden. And they're going to call Trevor Linden for bringing down Darius Kasparaitis. Now Dan Foose sends it over for Fleury. Cross ice pass for Wayne Gretzky. Centers it. The Twenty seconds to go on the Canadian penalty. Here comes Vincent Damfus with Wayne Gretzky. Damfus, Gretzky, and the puck bounced over his stick. Oleg Tevardovsky brings it back the other way. The Russians three wide. Tevardovsky for McGillivray. Big collision. Puck loose in front. They score. Alexei Zhamnov gets the rebound and ties the game at one. It's a power play goal with five seconds left in the penalty to Claude Lemieux. And Oleg Tevardovsky was involved in a huge collision in front of the Canadian goal. How many times have we seen it in the game of hockey where you get a chance down one end, Dan Foos just can't land this flat for Wayne Gretzky. Great try, great try. And then this goes right down the ice. That's Tevardovsky. Now watch the collision here. Bang! Whoa. There's a collision there. And uh, Zhamnov will come off screen. Just put it right by Martin Broder. Ed Jovanovski levels Oleg Tevardovsky. Jovanovski steps up. Here's a chance by Zhamnov. Boy, there's a guy you don't want to give too many chances to. Got it ahead for Kovalenko. Kovalenko working one-on-one, -on -one and Jovanovski hammers him down. 20-year-old Ed Jovanovski, the youngest player on this Canadian roster, throwing his weight around. Well, Eddie Jovanovski stepped right in here for Al McKinnis, and not to replace him, but you can see where Jovanovski's done a good job of doing what he's good at. <laughs> he's taken the body twice, Gordon. He's made impact that time on uh, Andre Kovalenko. 20 seconds to go on the Canadian penalty. Dan Foose hooks down Valerie Bure. Now here comes Kovalev, sending it in front for Gonchar. Jovanovski did a good job breaking up that pass. Now McGillney for Gonchar. Lots of time. Gonchar off the skates of Rob Blake. Kasparitis. Gonchar. Gonchar tees it up. Loose puck in front. They score! Eric Lindros out there with Keith Primo and Claude Lemieux, two players who give him a hard time in the NHL regular season. Now Kovalenko out there. Kovalenko scores! And Jovanovski getting a lot of ice time in this opening period. Added from Canada's list of alternates to replace Al McInnes just hours ago. Now Messier behind the net. Mark Messier centers it, but the net came off. It's pegs. And now Darius Kasparaitis is into it right in the goal area. Darius Kasparaitis, as you might expect, has been a burr in the Canadian saddle throughout this game. And that's what he specializes in doing. And he was pushing and shoving down there with Pat Verbeek and then Adam Graves. Well, Kasparaitis' gloves, Gord, came off first. Will there be an initial response here by Dan Marowelli? There's Verbeek. Verbeek actually knocks Kasparaitis into the net. You can see Kasparaitis with the gloves off quickly. Now, they met a number of times. Kasparaitis is an Islander, Verbeek, in recent days as a Ranger, and now a Dallas Star. And two players not afraid to mix it up, at least in the pushing and shoving sense. Look at him fight off Zhitnik. And 
And now back to the point. Keith Kramer with a shot deflected by Lindros just wide. Lindros still with it. Lost the puck now to Slava Kozlov. And Eric Lindros is hurt at the Canadian blue line. Eric Lindros is down and now crawls to the Canadian bench. And grave, grave concern for Eric Lindros. Now here's a good look at the Lindros. Sergei Gonchar gets the stick, the butt end of the stick up in the Lindros' face. And that's what creates a problem for Eric Lindros. I'd say both teams for different reasons. And you know, of course, Jeremy Roenick and Chris Chelios are playing tonight for the U.S. And look at this. Sergei Gonchar is bound to be a marked man tonight. He's the guy who got his butt end up earlier on Eric Lindros. And so now Kovalev's in it with Pat Verbeek. Now, isn't that ironic? Former <laughs> teammates with the Rangers. Well, I think if the Russians want to play the game this way, certainly uh, the Canadians, this, uh, this will be very comfortable for the Canadians. It's something that we'd like to set a tone, especially considering they're the fir our first opponents on Thursday. There'll obviously be tremendous anticipation for that game, and no doubt some of the tone being set tonight is deliberate, is it not? Well, definitely. That's part of the exhibition. That's what exhibition is for. We don't get a chance to see these guys, and as I mentioned before, this is uh, how you bring a team together. And the loose puck in front, Trefilov able to knock it away. Coffee back at the point. Coffee scores! Now bears it at the end of a long shift out there for the Russians. Bears it across the line. Leaves the drop pass there for Simak, who got crushed up along the boards by Fleury. Now Kovalenko. He hammered Keith Primo. And Mark Messier, who's been known to jar a few Russians in his day, sent it ahead, and I'll tell you what, Pat Verbeek got hammered there by Andre Nikolishin. Great physical play in a World Cup pre-tournament game. Jam now centers it, McGillney shot, blocked by Adam Foot. it's hurt. Adam Foot scoops it up, and blocking that shot appears to have hurt Adam Foot of the Colorado Avalanche. And this is the last thing Team Canada needs to see. Eric Lindros has his revenge. Don't mess with 88. He's got him in his sights right here. He just turned. And there's wow. the first hit. Kasparitis goes after Lindros and falls down and trying to retaliate. Loose puck in front. Paul Coffey pitching up to get it. And Coffey wins the battle with Lariano. Now side of that. Graves backhand shot. Rebound. Triple off another save. And Pat for big standing right on top of him. And more pushing and shoving breaks out. Look at Mark Messier. Messier wants Kovalenko. Andre and Adam Graves. In the middle of that. Adam Graves is tied up too, I think, with Oleg Tevardovsky. Here's another guy you don't want to mess with. Well, both Graves and Messier were right in front of Andre Trepelov, and it was amazing to see Trepelov goaltender will go off to the corner and Trefloff continues to get involved and certainly Messi and Graves were very involved. Paul Coffey will come back screen right here and he begins it. There's the hit by Coffey. The response We've got Messi and Graves involved. Trefloff, look, he's looking to try and get his man. If you think back too to the 1984 Canada Cup, an infamous moment from Mark Messier, an elbow on a young player named Vladimir Kovin in Edmonton in the round robin that laid him out for about 10 minutes. It was a vicious hit. Under a little checking pressure from Kovin. Kovin around the board. on him and Messier comes in and throws a stiff body check. Catches him maybe with a little elbow in the head but the referee Olsen was a little delayed and uh, calling that penalty. And it certainly sent a message and Mark Messier has not been forgotten since. Gretzky for Fleury. His soft shot handled easily by Trefilov. Puck up on the back of the net and Trefilov will hang on as Theron Fleury takes his shot. That Darius Kasparitis. And we've got a penalty coming up to Kasparitis, I believe. Here's what happened, Gord. Kasparitis was getting slashing, and then he actually tried to manhandle Dan Marawelli, 
I think Casparitis is going to go for a long time. There's the slash here, right there. Oh. You can see that slash on Darren Flurry. Now watch Casparitis. Paw is in play. Casparitis, as Flurry walks away, actually goes after Marowelli. And I think we're going to see it. A double minor to Darius Casparitis. Slashing is the first. And unsportsmanlike conduct is the second. Poppy. For Flurry. One times it over for Niedermeyer. Couldn't handle the pass. Gretzky with Lindros in front. Gretzky backhand shot. Lindros looking for the loose puck. And Trefilov with a little butt in on Eric Lindros. And now the puck is cleared out. Here comes the breakaway for Alexi Jamnov. Short-handed. Stopped by Brodeur. Lindros brings it back the other way. Drop for Gretzky. Here's Coffey. Tees it up. Pad save by Trefilov. And the Russians bring it right back. McGilney. Working on Rolf Blake. Centers the jam now. Another save by Broder. His former teammate, Dmitry Yuskevich, got into it with him here. Well, Yuskevich, 24-year-old Yuskevich, comes after Lindros and then responds. But you got to wonder what's on his mind right there. Not only have you got Eric Lindros, but you've got to go through his stick. Those two actually had a very warm greeting this morning. Said hello and exchanged pleasantries. But that's over with now. Wayne Gretzky trying to find Theron Fleury. Then goes back to the point to Niedermeyer. Now Gretzky chips it ahead. Lindros scores! Eric Lindros ties the game. Now a foot race for it. Kasparitis back there with Gretzky. And Gretzky gave him a bit of a whack and even a bit of a stare on the way by. Eric Lindros' goal has Canada even with Russia at three. Slava Kozlov had it knocked away by Messier, who gets it ahead for Coffey. Coffey with Messier and Verbeek. Messier down low for Verbeek. Verbeek side of the center, and Graham scores! Rob Blake brings it ahead for Canada. LA King fans will be watching his progress in the tournament closely. Lindros takes a hard bump, Gretzky behind the net for Fleury. Blake. To Flurry. And the free wide of the blue line. Now Flurry down low for Gretzky. Gretzky waits. Centers it. Lindros was knocked down. And Lindros tomahawked Dmitry Yuskevich. Chopped them down like a tree. I guess they won't be going to any flyer reunions together. Now Kovalenko short handed. Stopped from behind by Coffey. Kovalenko gets the back edge on rebound. They score. Alexei Kovalev. Here's a hit on Yashin. Alexei Yashin, he's just overpowered by Eric Lindros, almost tossed him to the bench. And Alexei Yashin's very strong on his feet. So that gives you a pretty good indication of how strong Eric Lindros is. And the first meeting between Canada and Russia at this World Cup ends in a draw. And Lindros ends it as he takes a run at Kovalenko. So some bad blood at the end of this game. And a stick wound up in the crowd. The next time they meet, it'll be for real. It'll be the opening game for both teams in the World Cup Thursday in Vancouver. Well, both teams have got lineup changes to look at. You know that number 88, Lindros, even after the whistle here, continues through on his hit. And you know he'll be in the lineup, but who else will be in the lineup? That the Russians, are, sorry, probably be Bure. Certainly will know Pavel Bure, unless there's a problem, will be playing. And as will Sergei Fedorov. And uh, there'll be two very strong players to add to this Russian contingent.